We are starting in the kitchen. Our first guest is the queen of baking all things Asian. Kat Liu's Instagram account, Subtle Asian Baking, has become super duper popular with 180, 138,000 Instagram followers. And next month, she's about to release her new cookbook, Modern Asian Baking at Home. Kat joins me now, and she's going to teach me how to make some delicious mochi waffles. Yes. These are so cute. They look so fun, and I'm so hungry, so let's get started. Yeah, Amity, the beauty of this waffle is that it's gluten-free, and mm -hmm. you can make them vegan. You can make them on a Monday, put, it, put the batter into the refrigerator, and have it on a Friday. Oh, so, that's amazing. Yeah, so it's so, so easy. I have everything set up for you. So, okay. Amity, you're going to be working very hard today. Got you, Chef. <laughs> I got you. It's up to you what you want to put in first, but usually I like to start with perhaps the eggs. Okay. We put in the eggs, and I'll give you the whisk. I always like starting with the eggs because it's kind of satisfying to, to break the yolks and whatnot. Then you can whisk it up. Okay, I'm whisking. I'm yeah. whisking. <laughs> All right. So, as we're making this, can you kind of t explain to us what subtle Asian baking is. Yeah, so subtle Asian baking, imagine you're putting matcha in a macaron, imagine mm -hmm. you're putting some miso in a brownie, and so forth. Imagine you're using mochiko or sweet glutinous rice flour to make it this chewy QQ texture, which mm. is a texture like in boba, which is um, very famous in Taiwan, right? Yep. That al dente te texture. You're using a story, a technique, or an inspiration, right? That brings you back to your roots. And like I said before, you do not have to be Asian to bake the Asian way. Right? So I know. it's very inclusive and diverse and welcoming. And this is your sweet glutinous rice flour. You're just going to dump it in there. Okay. Usually I make this in a blender, but it's very loud, so I didn't bring well, the I appreciate blender that. in here. You just wanted to see my, my strong arm skills. Ooh, that is getting whew. some sugar. Okay, we got this. <laughs> Stuck in the whisk. We got this. We got this. All right. Maybe maybe some liquid. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Let's some do, liquid. You can use any milk. It could be plant based. It what could is be, this milk? This is coconut milk. Oh, it's so, so thick co and luxurious. Milk. Yeah. All so right. Hopefully if, that'll. <laughs> if you want to make it vegan, instead of the eggs, you would put either tofu or some banana or <laughs> some <Sorry>. avocado. <laughs> I forgot to mention I'm a very messy cook, so I should have probably had us both in aprons, but that's okay. Yeah, All right. With your kids, the, the blender would have been perfect. Yeah. So you could dump in the rest of this stuff if you want. Okay. I'm going to put in now. This is how much sugar? This is about a hundred. Uh, to taste. I think it was about 100, 100 grams. 100 grams. Well, we're going to have the recipe on the I'm website gonna have, yeah, because the if web you're going to make me there. convert, <laughs> you know, metric. All right. 85 grams of oil. 85 grams of oil. Mm -hmm. Just regular veg, uh, like vegetable cooking oil? Yep. It could be melted butter. It could be uh, melted oh. vegan butter. It could be any neutral oil that okay. you want. So it's coming together. Yeah, it's coming together quite nicely. <laughs> Tapioca Ooh. starch to make it a little bit even chewier and some baking powder. Okay. So you mixed tapioca starch and baking powder mm -hmm. together on yep. that? Okay. And then uh, a little bit of salt, or you could put miso, but what we could do Miso, this. fun. Miso? I okay. love that. We'll do miso. Let's do miso. <laughs> Let's do some miso. You're working. Man, I don't you're, work, you're working. Cow, I hope cow. my Apple Watch is tracking this. <laughs> okay. A little bit of miso, dump it in there. And then you can finish it off with the pandan extract. Okay. So pandan is just a leaf that makes your food taste like vanilla and coconut all at once. So it's not, I had thought you were going to use, is this enough or is this too much? It's enough. Okay. We could add a She's little like, bit more. Mm, maybe it's too much. This we is, I clean. thought this was food coloring, but it isn't. It's pandan extract. Yes. So it's like vanilla and food coloring together only healthy and a little bit cleaner probably than food well, coloring? This one does have food coloring, so okay. I won't lie about that. Okay. To have that beautiful green, it does have a bit of food coloring, okay. but the natural leaf would be naturally green too, but not as green. Okay. So I think you're ready to go. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm good gonna, at this. I'm gonna pop on the... And we're gonna, we've got these two waffle irons, that's where she's going. She's turning yeah, them on. Turning on Did them. we get them both? Okay. Yes. Um, and there's two different waffle irons, two different styles. I like the little popping, the little one that looks like one of those poppets that my kids play with. That's so fun. Yeah, the bubble waffle. It's a, a creation from Hong Kong, from the vendors of Hong Kong. Oh, I love this. Okay. So how long does it take to heat up? Is it? They're, oh, they're ready already. Th you're ready? They're ready, yeah. Okay, all right. So then you spray. Spray a little pan. Yep, top okay. and bottom. Love it. Okay. And then you just scoop it on. Scoop it on? Yep, generously. Yeah, generously. Not, not too generous, and then it'll spill out, so we'll, we'll, we'll have to eyeball this. 
definitely more than that. <laughs> <laughs> you make me nervous, Kat. <laughs> All right. Yep. I think half a scoop more in the middle. Okay. Yep. And I think that's good to go. And with the bubble waffle maker, you do have to close it and then flip it around. Oh, oh, this is going to be fun. So close, close it, it down and then flip it around. Yep, just like that. <laughs> That's been really stressful. Um, so I love that on in your Instagram that there's just so many different, just wonderful things to try. Talk to me about the community and, and the community that you've started with Subtle Asian Making. Yeah, so it was a group that I started in 2020, right around the beginning of the pandemic, and I didn't expect it to grow so big, but mm. so many of us were wanting to bake this way to make our egg tarts, to make our mochi goodies and milk bread, yeah. and use all of these amazing flavors from Asia, such as pandan, ube, and black sesame. And we've also come together as a group to fundraise. So since last year, we've raised over $30,000 dollars now from multiple wow. fundraisers. That's amazing. Yeah. And what do you do with the money that you raise? So last year we gave $15,000 to Welcome to Chinatown, which is a grassroots foundation in New York City. Okay. And they gave money to a local New York um, egg tart. They're called Double Crispy Restaurant, I mean bakery. Oh, nice. And then we also purchased a thousand hot meals for older adults in New York City. High five. <laughs> Good job, y'all. Um, all right. Do you think this is about done? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. If you want to make another one here too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do. do. I always you do. You can spray that one down. Okay. How does it? Watch okay. Out. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Um, as we're about to finish this up, tell me a little bit about your book before I try the, the waffles that's already made here. I'm just going to pick it up. <laughs> so this book is inspired by Subtle Asian Baking, the community. The recipes were all retested and adapted from our um, our members online and also some of them are my inventions too like the mochi waffles and all the milk breads that we do and then I give a lot of kudos to the community so that we let people know you know this is a community effort even though there was only one writer I love it can I try the mochi yeah okay hold on I'm just gonna pick it up and eat it. you should you should try it with some um oh my gosh <laughs> that's so good you should try it with some of this what is that the the miso caramel so this is okay Amazing. Okay. Let's try that. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is really, really good. Somebody asked me the other day, do you just say you like everything because you're <laughs> on the show? No, that is not true. You know I don't have poker face. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is what I'm making all weekend. Chewy, long. right? It's so and good, so but easy. it's not too chewy. It's not like I'm eating mochi like an actual, you know, the, the thick chewy tapioca. You want to check it out? All right. It might be ready. All right. Almost. Uh, almost no, ready. That one's not ready yet. All right. Well, if you would like to try these mochi waffles for yourself, you can find the recipe on New Day's website. I will be making them this weekend. And if you make them, share it with us. Share it on your Instagram.